Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome to the Sports Shop 27. I'm your host, Jermaine Cota. And to my far right, I got my main man, KJ. Right KJ back in the building. Yes, sir. And let's oh, yeah. go. It's been a long time. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. We also have a guest tonight, a special guest. Um, he's a part of Intense Wrestling Alliance, um, CWP Wrestling. Uh, you name it. He's all across the United States traveling, getting it in, promoting his brand. You can get his uh, his shirts online from his uh, Instagram. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's give it up for the butcher, Canavas. Don Kirby, what's Thank going you. on? Thank what's, up, you. Man? what's going on, hey, man? Ready, Thank man. you. Thank you for having me, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate the opportunity you bringing me on here. You know, and uh, it's great, man. It feels good. <laughs> Appreciate oh, yeah, man. You on the show. Welcome to the shop. For real. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Um, for the people that don't know you, let them know where you're from a little bit about your background. Um, where I'm from is uh, Newburgh, New York. You know, it's a little city, you know, probably an hour, an hour and a half from, from the city itself up in the Hudson Valley. Um, I was born and raised here and I actually graduated high school, went to school here, everything. You know, and uh, that's literally about it. And, you know, um, I, I got into sports and, you know, my, my dad was one of the big influences on me to, to become a pro wrestler. Okay. To do what I did, what it is that I do today, you know. Yep. And uh, I just want to keep that dream alive, you know, and pass it down. I understand. Mm hmm all right. all right my man hey so uh what age did you start playing sports and what sport was your first love uh, my first love was professional boxing that was my first ever contact sport that i've ever did i was do i did boxing at the age of 13 and i've been in the ring with multiple guys uh pros heavyweights you name it i was in the ring with them i trained at the newburg boxing club um sadly it's not it's not around anymore, but you know, things happen, you know, but uh, my coach is still out in Florida. I just want to say, uh, hope all those people out in Florida, in Tampa area, yeah. Yeah. everywhere, that was a bad storm. You know, I got a lot of people out there. I hope you guys are safe. Um, yes, but yeah, I, yeah. I've, I've done a lot at a very young age. You know, um, I've actually been to professional shows. I never fought professionally. You know, that was like, I always think about that every now and then. Like I should have done this when I had the time to do it. Oh, and, yeah. you know, I never pulled the trigger on it. Um, mm -hmm. But I, every now and I mean, I still train. I still use it as my, my regimen at the gym oh, yeah, every day, time. you know, so it, it never leaves, you know. Um, and now my goal is to, you know, pass that down, you know what I'm saying? People who want to take it seriously, you know, I, I showed them how to fight. I just showed them the workout how to work out with the boxing material too you know so oh yeah yes it's, it's it's gonna be a part of me for the rest of my life so you know it's it's gave me a lot of courage you know growing up you know sometimes you get bullied sometimes things yeah. happen you know what i mean and then i learned how to box you know what i mean and then you know my life started changing after that so oh yeah you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah so, so so don who was the first athlete or a person you looked up to other than your father? Um, well, my, my father wasn't an athlete, but he was a fan of sports. Okay. My dad, my dad was always a very big baseball fan. Okay. And uh, coming coming from the island of Puerto Rico, you know, everybody's a, a, a baseball fan. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, everybody plays basketball over there. But uh, the sport that he loved the most that he always, always talked to me about was the sport of professional wrestling, the art. You know what I mean? So that was his thing. If it was baseball and if it was professional wrestling, it was his thing. You know what I mean? He didn't, at first, he didn't really approve on me doing boxing because he wasn't a real big boxing fan. But as I grew older and he seen how good I was getting and yeah. a lot of how I was going to more amateur fights and, you know, I was actually traveling a little bit more than he started taking it a little bit like, oh, okay, you know, you got this. Oh yeah, for sure. So, so uh, boxing was your favorite sport. So, uh, who was your favorite boxer at that time? <laughs> at that time, well, 
I always liked Manny Pacquiao. I always looked. I always liked uh, Miguel Cotto. Felix mm-hmm. Tito Trinidad. I always studied his fights. Most of my fighting style is basically it comes from him because that's who I I literally watched my whole life. Um, Mayweather got to got to put him out there. You know what I mean? Mayweather. <laughs> Oh, he's yeah. just a goat. He knows what he's doing when he's in the square circle. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, defense. Mm-hmm. yeah, he's a the good, great defensive fighter. You know, don't get me wrong. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And um, and I, I actually go back too. Let's go back. You know, I, I studied tapes like with Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sugar Ray yeah. Robinson. You know, I go, I go way back. I come from a, a person who been in the boxing game for a while you know what i'm saying so i come from a, a list of good teachers you know so oh yeah right. cool. mm-hmm. so uh since you were like boxing and, and you played i mean you did wrestling did you play any other sport than the two uh nah sadly no okay i didn't i never i mean in high school even the the wrestling coach wanted me to be on their wrestling team a lot of guys that were on the wrestling team knew me and they were like, yo, you should get into collegiate wrestling. And not for nothing, uh, I kind of regret it because that could have been another thing I could have had under my belt. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and I could have brought that into the prof- uh, professional wrestling game. You know what I'm saying? So, But I, li- I like to use what's, what's good for me, and that's uh, striking slams and stuff like that. So, oh, yeah. you know? So, so, so you talked about, you know, 13, you started boxing. Um, how long did you box um, before you stopped, actually, like, amateurly when you uh, first started? I fought from the ages of 13 to 18, 19, around there. Okay. And then I started having to have to go to work and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I had to help pops out with rent, uh, bills, and stuff like that. So, you know, the you know regular, regular stuff that okay. you got to do as a human being. You know what I mean? You got to go out, got to make some money, got to help out around the house. You know what I'm saying? So it it started, it was starting to get hard because then you got to find that balance in order to go train for fights and stuff like that. And I'm the type of person, if I don't feel that I'm in the best qualified shape I need to be for the fight, I'm not going to do it. That's, that's good, man. That's good. You know what I mean? So at, at that point, I was just like, you know, maybe this, maybe this ain't for me. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So... I mean, I still got everything I learned. Like I said, I came from a long list of great trainers. You know what I mean? That's still to this day I'm in contact with. So, okay. like, if I if I wanted to get back into the game, then maybe, you know? Yeah, but at this point, I'm just like, I want to focus on my wrestling career now, you know? Okay. So, and so when you got on the high school level, um, what, uh, what all sports did you play on that level? On high school, I mean, I attempted, I attempted to play basketball, but I wasn't really a good basketball player. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My my thing was always contact sports. You know what I'm saying? I always, I always liked the fighting scene for some reason. You know what I mean? Everybody, you start watching movies, and you know what I'm saying? You get that adrenaline rush. Start watching boxing fights. Like, damn, I want to know what it feels like to have that. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So uh talk about high school, man. You in New York. Um what what years did you go to high school? Um I was in high school from over here is 10 to 12. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So since and then like when I went when I went to junior high, it was South Junior High, and then they moved all the ninth graders to a whole different school, right? So it was like you had a whole mix of one school to another school. Now, there was, in my day, there was a lot of commotion back in school, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of fights, a lot of, yeah. like just a lot of things going on at the same time, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But um, yeah, at that point, when I got to high school, I started like actually asking myself, like, all right, so now we in high school. Now we got two more years. What do we do? You know what I mean? Like, we gotta start thinking about the future now. You know? Yeah. There you go. Uh, you know, I'm thinking in my mind. I'm thinking boxing. You know what I mean? Like, that's my 
my go to. I'm, I'm gonna become pro. I'm gonna try to get down to this weight to 152. Let's let's rock. You know. Mm-hmm. But then you know, got a girlfriend. Things happen. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and yeah, real life I fell man. off. Yeah, I mm-hmm. fell off. Uh, things didn't start working out with me and her. So you know, what I'm saying I start like mentally, I'm not there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not in the boxing game. I'm not, I'm not doing it. So eventually I just stopped. And like I said, like at that time, I, I was in my own little world. Like, you know, like when you, you're, when you 18, 19, you don't, it's like, you don't care about nothing. You just care about doing your own thing. You out of high school. Yeah. No one can tell you nothing. Yeah. Oh yeah. I got not even mom and dad. You, you arguing with mom and dad in the house all the time because you out late, you're doing stupid stuff you know yeah. what i mean so it's like and that was majority of my life you know and uh then i found professional wrestling at tw- it was 2016. um i i got in contact with one of my friends his, his name is Navon mcdonald and we started this organization backyard organization mm-hmm. you gotta start from somewhere right yeah, yeah. always so uh we had a trampoline you know, we started from a trampoline. We eventually got a 12 by 12 ring. Yep. And we started doing some backyard shows. You know what I'm saying? We started doing shows. And then eventually, I got us inside. You know what I mean? So it's like the only. You got, it from the mud, you, got you got, yeah, you got to You got to work it to make it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, make it work well, for you. Yeah. You're a real yeah, pop, man. man. You yeah. like, like Dusty yeah. Rose. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, hey, uh, listen man you got you gotta have positivity man you gotta have positive you always gotta stay positive even in the bad times man that's what i learned so listen so what did that situation teach you as a um as an entrepreneur you know you you, you going mm-hmm. out you putting your own investments into like getting a 12 by 12 you gotta do the promotions the, the draw the crowd you gotta get the chairs like what's your thought process going through this situation Either I'm going to make it or break it. Either I'm going to make it or break it. If I don't make it, I, I, at least I said I tried. I, I, <laughs> yes, it, man. I can at least say I tried, you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. as of right now, that's not even that's not even on my mind right now. Right now, we've been working and we've been putting in the work, I want to say, double than what we've been doing it before. And now it's just, we just stepping up the game now. You know what I'm saying? Going more pro, bringing in more names. You know what I'm saying? So it's like mm-hmm. now, now we get into where we want to be. Okay. You know? Yeah. Right. And now that I got help with my boy, now that he's letting me use actually his YouTube account, <laughs> I work with him too, doing productions for uh, companies like House of Glory. Um, we we literally travel. You know, we've done the ECF thing. You know what I mean? I, I I don't just do the whole wrestling side aspect of the business. You know, I, I like to work the production side because when I don't wrestle, what am I going to be doing? I'm going to be back backstage watching the show, you know, making sure things are going right. So I got to learn yeah. all aspects of the business in order to be who I want to be, you know? Yeah. So. Smart. So he, 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 he Vince McMahon too, you know what I'm saying? He, <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, hey, you're a businessman. <laughs> promote, edit. Do all the engineer everything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. I want to do it all, you know what I mean? Yeah, I want to yeah. do it all. It's it's everything that I've wanted to do since I was a kid. Okay. You know what I mean, it, there was nothing else. When I found about when I found out about professional wrestling, there was nothing else until mm-hmm. boxing came along. I gave that a try. But yeah. I still had professional wrestling in the back of my mind. I yeah. always said always had to figure out like how am I gonna make this work? How am I gonna go train i didn't i didn't know where to go train you know what i mean like i didn't know mm-hmm. where to go i didn't know where to start all i know is we had i found out about somebody that was doing a backyard fed and i just went and eventually the journey started from there because if i i, I want to say if i would have never found out that that was happening i don't even think that i would have even pursued it to be honest i understand yeah. So after the backyard match, what happens next? So eventually we get a 16 by 16, man. We upgrade. Okay. We upgrade. And so now we... It's getting bigger. 
now it's just getting bigger now it's just now we building now we now we really trying to get eyes on us you know what i mean okay you know yeah. so I, like so- i said i've been i've been working with my man's right here uh tony you know what i'm saying he's another another guy that trained me i mean i, I used to go i used to train at ecpw before and that's where i got my start at ecpw with gino caruso yep and then wow. as i as i went along i met tony got trained by ecw original tony uh tony devito uh-huh. so no nah, i mean who i'm not gonna i'm not gonna ignore his knowledge you know what i mean so no. and ever since then you know we started working there and he's been like a brother to me you know what i mean do anything for that man what's up you know? kate had a question for you yeah up, I, was just, I was gonna say man t- talk about your favorite moves that you you know you like to use in wrestling man you know my favorite moves yeah i want to say the power slam is one of them that i i've actually been incorporating a lot into my move set lately is the power slam you know uh, i don't know if you're familiar with uh hawk and animal the road warriors oh yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. i grew up on so, that so animals <laughs> finisher that's that's one of my favorite moves i like doing okay wow. right now <laughs> hey, good. yeah so when you uh when you meet with tony devito talk about um his coaching style well i mean i wasn't there with him like he my boy was trained by tony devito okay and okay. so then he'd been training me so with his, his knowledge that he gained he he passed it down that's to me down. okay you know what i mean so right. but the, everything when i'm training with tony is a lot of character work psychology you know what i mean it's a lot of learning learning the game for what it's supposed to be you know what i mean a lot of uh a lot of character based you know what i mean without a character who are you you know what i mean so so uh what, what kind of music you listening to before you walk out to the ring what kind of music you know to get you right get me right well i don't know honestly i don't i don't like to listen to music okay while i'm so back what, there meditation well it de- it it depends because if i'm running my own shows i'm not listening to music at all like i'm, I'm mm-hmm. literally running around making sure everything is all right you okay. know um making sure everything is good with my other mans because I, I don't run this alone i run it i run it with my boy navon mcdonald if oh, you, yeah, yeah right. so um we're always you know back and forth making sure everything is right making sure everybody's all right you know so but if i'm not if i'm at a different show i'm in the locker room i'm just i'm zoned in i'm locked in you know what i mean i i i like to be serious before i i hit the curtain you know what i mean like i know i'm nervous but once the once the once the bell ring <laughs> it, it leaves it's gone, it's gone. yeah yeah it's let gone. Loose. so mm-hmm. you know i i'm just uh <clears throat> I like to stay very very focused on what i'm doing you know what i mean okay cool so talk about your first match outside of you know the backyard once you 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 stop doing independent you grew you perfected your craft now you about to rest in front of bigger crowds maybe gymnasiums you know right arena yeah. talk Big, about thing. it's it's a very very different feeling okay. i'll tell you that much it's very different um when you in the yard, you just a, you don't know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You I, I, at when I was in the yard, I didn't even know what the five the five steps were. You know what I mean? So once I got into the into the professional game, and I learned that the adrenaline rush starts running through you. You start yeah, feeling the energy from the crowd. You know what I mean? So you, yeah, it's, man, it's, it's real different when you in there because yeah. yeah, we we take a lot of toll on our bodies when we do this. You know. Mm-hmm. but it's like you don't feel it in that instant you know what i mean so it's like like damn i want to keep doing this it's like it's like a it's like an addiction you want to keep doing you want to keep coming back you know what i mean because you want to feel that you want to oh, feel yeah, that energy in the room you know oh yeah so uh, uh, that's that that is what made me fall in love with it even more all right because you got you could be having a bad day you know you go to work you're having a bad day but you come to this during the weekend it's like an escape you know what I mean? Like I don't yeah. have to worry about nothing right now. It's yeah. just this. I'm here. Yeah. You know, That's, it's yeah, yeah, all man. about the experience. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's it, man. Enjoy it. All right. Well, let's get into a clip real quick, guys. Um, we got a professional wrestler from IWA. Um, that's uh Intense Wrestling Alliance, uh, the butcher, kind of Uh Don 
curving. All right, let's go ahead and get yeah, it. Man. Everybody, <laughs> you subscribe, hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook, Spotify, Deezer, Instagram, and uh, we'll be right back. I uh, don't own the rights to this video or the music and the content. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this this clip. Stay with me, Don. Yes. <laughs> transition man you are you leveled up now you're in the arenas you're in the gym how long did it take you to get in shape to get to that level that you just performed for everyone that's watching wow man listen i went i went let, let me get this out of the way i went through a tough time because i lost my father back in uh 22 mm -hmm. sorry about so, that it's all right man thank you um mentally i was having a hard time thinking to myself that is is this it for me you know what i mean is i, I don't know what to do at this point because i lost my only support that i really had yeah. you know what i mean so yeah, yeah. um at this point you know what i'm saying the only thing that would help me cope with all this was going to the gym yeah. wow Good it was no, it, yeah it was literally the only thing that was helping me cope through the whole situation um ever since that i just made it into a lifestyle now you know what I'm saying? I go to the gym almost every day now. Like nonstop. Mm -hmm. It's just I have to I have to get it in. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I have to get it in. At the end of the day, I have to get it in. Like this, it's not even no question. Even if I have to get there late, I have to get mm -hmm. it in. You know what I mean? So 
um i've been really dedicated to that i was at that point after i lost my father i was weighing 280 pounds and now i'm down to at least 220 210 now you know what i mean mm-hmm. and it's it's been that boxing training the weight training you know what i'm saying everything yeah. that i that i learned throughout the years it's like okay back to basics now let's let's pick it up from the top let's go do this all over again you know what i mean so Mm -hmm. it you rebuilt redefined yourself you went hard you matched the gas you know your pops was inspiration for you to wrestle in the first yeah Mm -hmm. fuel to the fire talk about um how that fire uh put you into a title matches well that fire you know i'm saying people started seeing that you know yeah i do got potential you know what I mean? So people started telling me, like, hey, man, you're going to make it one day. You know what I mean? Like, don't stop. Like, even if you feel that like you know you, you want to give up, don't stop. Keep going. You know what I mean? So eventually, promoters started seeing that. Then I I just kept going. kept showing face. You know what I mean? And you just got to be at the right time, at the right place, you know? So I just happened to be there those times, and I got a shot, you know? My, my first... Bringing it back to my father, my first ever title that I won in the pros and in, in, in the independent scene was at ECPW. It was a tag team championship alongside my one of my uh, close friends, Yankee TDM. Um, we won the the first ever the our, our first ever ECPW tag team championships. You know what I mean? And that was one of my goals was to have my dad front row watch me win a championship to to show him like this you uh, i completed it i did it you seen it you know what i mean so it's like he was he left very happy he left very happy because there was conversations that i didn't even know about that my mom tells me to this day that he always used to tell her that he was real proud of me of all the things that i've been doing you know what i mean but yeah I, i never heard that from him but it's good to know that he told her at least and now i can hear it through her there you go. I mean, yeah. so mm-hmm. I, I'm really grateful for that. And that that to this day just keeps pushing me to be just to be even better, you know, become a better man, just be better professionally and just do what I got to do. Because my dad was a hardworking man, like waking yeah. up at two o'clock in the morning, going to work to then come back home, go to work again, to then do it the next day all over again. Man. That's, yeah, I yeah. That. Wow. That's good. Good work ethic. Yeah, yeah. So that that's that's my motivation. My dad's my motivation. You know what I mean? This I, I gotta keep that legacy running because he was never he was never lazy. That man was never lazy. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Good stuff, man. Yeah. So talk about meeting Jimmy Hart. Oh man, Jimmy Hart. The mouth of the south. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Hart was awesome, man. I, I, I got to actually perform in front of Jimmy Hart, and um, it, it was it was uh, it's a very interesting experience because you just I, I'm I'm like a couple of months in, you know what I mean? I'm in this show, uh, triple threat tag team match. Jimmy Hart sitting next door, right there signing out autographs, and we're wrestling. It's just like. Okay, so I got a WWE legend watching me. I can't fuck up. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. I can't. <laughs> but um, you know, uh, he after the match was over, we went over to him. We asked, you know, what I'm saying, uh, how did we do? You know, what I mean, nine times out of ten, they're gonna tell you what you want to hear, but who knows? You know, what I'm saying, probably it was coming from his heart. You know, so you know, what I'm saying, he said we had a good match, probably match of the night. You know, so. <laughs> Wow, man. <laughs> so, uh, talk about tag team championship. Uh, talk about your, your partner. Talk about uh, the difference between fighting solo and fighting with someone else. Fighting from yeah. fighting solo and fighting for some with someone else in a tag team is it's different. You know, what I mean, like it's just a different style of match, but it's it's all the. Okay. You know what I mean? About the same. Okay. Yeah. You still feel it the next day. <laughs> it's wow, still the man. same thing. <laughs> mm. yeah. I, I feel yeah. like it's 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 fun. It's definitely a lot of fun because you could get really creative with it. But um, I, honestly, I prefer. I, 
I'm that type of person. I like to to do my my whole singles thing. You know what I mean? But I'm not. I'm not. Um, how do you say that? Like I'm not opposed to to being in the tag team. You know what I mean? Because either way, it still works, regardless. You know. Oh yeah. But yeah, gr- growing up watching wrestling, man, what I didn't like was when, you know, if if I was wrestling, get, getting hit with a chair, man. So you you ever got hit with a chair? And yeah. Then, it sucks. Man, it sucks. It, it hurts. Yeah, like somebody ain't nothing different. Break the bone or something. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing different. Oh, okay. Listen, man. Uh, you you still feel it the next day. You get markings from it. You get bruises. You know what I mean? It's, it's, yeah. It's the same thing. The same ballet. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, sure <ain't>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> uh, you gotta be a pain yeah. freak, man, to be a yeah. wrestler. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, I love it. You gotta love, pain. You gotta love it. Yeah. Wow. What's the worst injury you witnessed? Ooh. Someone falling on their head. Dang. Oh, man. Yeah, and then I I, wit- I witnessed somebody uh, dislocate their arm. Um, well, like jumping off means. the top ropes or something? Nah, they went for a, a sequence in the middle of the ring. Kid did a backflip. He landed oh. wrong and broke his, his whole forearm. Ah. So it's like, man. Yeah. He tried to brace his fall and it just popped on him. Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. So who who do you like wrestling uh, wrestling in your league? Who who are some of your favorite matchups? Uh, as of right now, Johan. <laughs> Johan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Johan is uh, as of right now. We got a storyline going on, and right. uh, we've actually been getting people invested a little bit into that story. So, as of right now, it's been him. But I've been bringing guys from. Uh, Puerto Rico, you know what I'm saying? So oh, nice. I've, I've worked with uh, Anel. I actually worked with Caveman from WWX out in the Bronx. You know what I mean? As of right now, I'm working with Anthony Gangone. He's been on AEW, ROH. He's been on, he just was on a NWA not too long ago. Okay. You know what I mean? So I've been working with a lot of, a lot of good people. So, and just learning along the way because you can't learn everything in one day in this business. So, Really? You learn, and you actually learn a new thing every time you go in there. So, okay. Mm-hmm. So, so when your next match? You got anything coming up soon, or? Yeah, my next show that I'm doing for NUW is actually this Sunday, here in Newburgh, New York. And oh. as of right now, I'm actually getting ready to make my international debut out in Peru and Bolivia. Mm. Yeah, so uh, Damn, I, I got weird. a lot of yeah, I got a lot of big things coming up. Um, yeah, and then the next shows after that would be in December, December 8th, which is my last show of the year with NUW. Okay. Yeah. Well, I got some clips I want to show the people. Everybody that's watching, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, and Deezer. Uh, we have Intense Wrestling Alliance champion, uh, Mr. The Butcher. Kind of wait, wait, hold on. I, not, I never won a championship there. <laughs> hey, we're going to claim it, though. We're going to claim it, though. It's already happened. Yeah. Go ahead and stand for that. Yeah, all right, all right. All right, we're going to go ahead and get into this clip. I don't own the rights to it. Y'all sit tight with me, okay? All right. Nara. Yes, sir. <laughs> that, that was the first ever match I had with him there at, at NUW. And that's that's the promotion we run. That's our little our little promotion there. All right. You can see. Like fun. Mm-hmm. Well, I got some more clips. Let's go ahead and get into it. Stay with us. Who was that that you was wrestling just now? Uh, that was uh, Michael D. Carlo, I believe. That's what he goes by now. Uh huh. 
Yeah, that that's that's who that was. That was actually there at ORW in in Colorado. Okay. Bro. Right. Yeah. That's good. We got one more. I'm gonna go ahead and show the people. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. What's that called? Melatonin? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's what I'm going to call that. <laughs> hey, That's what I'm going to call that. Melatonin. Dude, I need to get that son of my, I need to get that my son, man. For real, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, talk about how you came up with that move, man. man. Uh, with what the Death Valley driver? Death yeah, Valley driver. Death Valley, driver. Right. Yeah, Death Valley driver's been around for a while, man. I want to say back in eighties, nineties. I want to believe because Tommy Dreamer was doing that in ECW. That was one of his finishing moves. And once I saw it, I was like, "Huh?" Man, I just yeah. started doing that. You know, I know. <laughs> My man Tony told me the same thing. He's like, "Yo, why don't you do a Death Valley driver?" I was like, you know what? I was actually thinking about doing that. <laughs> you did. Yeah, so I was like, no, it's it. it's somebody to take a picture. Yeah, so I was just at it. <laughs> put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, man. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm call that the melatonin driver. <laughs> put your ass to sleep. <laughs> Dang. One, like, one, 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 talk, one dose, that's all. That's all. That's all, man. <laughs> Oh man, that's a good one. So, uh, you, you telling everybody your match, your next match is gonna be in New York. All right. So, uh, what can they get they, your merch from? What can they, you know, buy yeah. tickets if people want to follow you, get information, or how mm -hmm. to watch you wrestle? I mean, have to go. Uh, usually, uh, we 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 haven't been going live right now, and you and we haven't been really posted anything on our NUW page as of yet. But once we do start. We're gonna put the information out, you know. Um, we're gonna actually put it. We're gonna, we're actually gonna be working with False Finish Productions right now. Okay. So if anything, nice. when he starts posting it up on there, you guys could follow us at uh, False Finish Productions as well. Follow us on the NUW page on Instagram at NUW underscore Wrestling um, on Instagram, and you can also follow us on YouTube at Newberg Underground Wrestling. So it's 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 just getting bigger, you know. Um, as of right now. Uh, we still got another event we just did that we got to post it. You know, we need to edit it and do all the work to it, but eventually we'll we'll get to that and we'll let the fans know. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. Right. yeah. So go ahead and drop all your social media handles. Uh, if people want to follow you on a social media, where can they follow you at? Um, you can follow me at uh, at Puerto Rican Bulldozer right there you can see it right there on the screen um and then you can follow us at nuw like, like i said nuw underscore wrestling um on instagram as well uh, and, and then uh you can follow me on facebook as well felix davila um but other than that that's all i got for for uh social media and stuff like that all right okay Go ahead, kid. okay uh, do you have any message for the youth for the youth yeah don't give up Right. Don't ever give up. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, if you're going to do something, stick to it, full through. If you feel like you're going to give up, do it anyway. Do it anyway. Because sometimes when I don't want to go to the gym, I do it anyway. And I get oh, that yeah. burst of energy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But uh, everything is, is you got to have a, a positive mentality, even if you're having a bad day. Stay positive. Shoot. Shoot for the stars and don't even look back. Yeah. At the end of the day, you always you always got to look at the light at the end of the tunnel, even when you're having a bad day. You know. That's right. So any, any shout outs before we head out? I want to shout out my man, letting me use his channel today, Legend Series. You know what I mean? Man's yeah. been working me for years, bro, and love this yeah. dude with all my heart, man. It's like a brother to me. Uh, I want to shout out um, NUW Wrestling, Levon McDonald, Johan Nara, all the guys that. Help me in this in this crazy industry that's professional wrestling. 
You know what I mean, I want to shout out shout out ORW for giving me the opportunity to to come out to Colorado, and um, I can't wait to actually go international now, going to Peru and different wow. wrestling grounds and stuff. So now it's now it's on. <laughs> yeah, man. You're on another level now, baby. Yeah, for sure. That's what's up. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Congratulations on everything, and uh, we wish the best for you. Thank you for coming on our show. Yes, oh, yeah. Having me, man. I appreciate it. No problem. Is there any, um, what you think about the show? Is there anybody you would recommend to come on the show? All right. Man, if you are into sports, if you're into professional wrestling, come down, you know, come down to a sports shop, 27. Cool dudes, man. I had a great time on your podcast today. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Nothing but smiles, nothing but happy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, come down, man. Come and you come, come talk, come talk, man. I enjoy, I enjoyed this <laughs> fall on through. <laughs> well, we appreciate you coming thank by, you, man. man. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Oh yeah. Um, for everybody that's watching, you just watch a new edition of the Sports Shop Twenty Seven. I'd like to thank my main man KJ for coming on tonight, and also oh, yeah. special guest, the Butcher Don Kirkman. All right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. Here. We, we oh, another thing. If you guys want to get merch, go on to bonfire.com and look up Newberg Underground Wrestling. We got hoodies, we got shirts, we got we got more merch coming out soon. So stay keep keep posted. Exactly. Right. Oh, and yeah. if you got sport shop 27, you go to bonfire.com and get the sport <laughs> shop 27. Right. There you go. <laughs> right. we appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you for everything, Butch. Thank, thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you, KJ. Right. Oh yeah, most definitely. Love, man. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. One. Yes, sir. It's how you start. It's how you finish. Yes, That's sir. Right. <laughs> All right. Sorry. We out. Got you.